Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks. I just recently spent a fabulous week in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I really wish I had more time here. There are so many amazing places to eat, but I was able to go enjoy about eight different places and I compiled them all into a video. So enjoy. Our first night in Myrtle Beach, we tried a restaurant called Capriccio's. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> we didn't have a reservation, but they were able to seat us right away. They had a wonderful menu full of all different entrees. Chicken, veal, steak, fish, pastas. They even had pizzas on the menu. We were traveling all day and so ready for a great meal. We ordered a round of wines and they came over with this. It was an oil and garlic and it had all kinds of herbs and spices in there for dipping the bread. It was so good. <laughs> so delicious and you got a salad with every meal with your choice of dressing the bread was really hot and crusty it was so nice I almost ordered the chicken Marcella but I decided to go with the lasagna it sounded so good and I'm so glad I got that it was so creamy and so delicious my husband ordered the chicken parm and he loved it as well it was an excellent excellent meal we like this so much we got a pizza to go so many great places so little time the next day, we took an adventure to Broadway at the beach. Again, there are so many amazing places to dine, but this was a Sunday afternoon and it was pretty busy, even though it was February. So we ended up going to the Hard Rock Cafe because they didn't have a wait and we were hungry once again. <laughs> it was later in the day and we had just taken a long walk on the beach and we were famished. So we were, they were able to seat us right away. We have dined in Hard Rock before in Orlando and Atlantic City and never had a bad meal or time. It's always been a solid place to go. This particular Hard Rock was a two story with seating on the bottom and the top floor. We sat on a side room off the bottom floor. The menu, awesome. It's your typical kind of bar food, nothing extreme. It's burgers, chicken sandwiches, salads. They have some entrees as well. It's beer, wine, cocktails. They have martinis, that sort of thing. And if you're still hungry after all that, they also offer an array of desserts as well. The selling point of Hard Rock? Well, you know, it's exactly what it sounds like. You know, it's kind of a museum from the rock stars. You know, it's all kinds of artifacts on the walls. You could watch a concert while you're sitting there. You know, they had like Aerosmith playing while we were sitting down. I had ordered the chicken sandwich with bacon. It came on like a hamburger roll. It wasn't anything like over the top, but it was really good. My daughter had the same thing and my husband ordered a hamburger. I mean, it came with like fried onion rings on the top of it and he enjoyed his as well. I think the highlight for us was the french fries that were loaded and had cheese and chives and dipping sauce, really good. I'm gonna take a little walk now. They have a stage for live music. This right here, this is the upstairs, which wasn't open when I was there. You know, a lot of places are shorthanded now, even though the place downstairs was packed, this place wasn't open at all, but you know, you gotta only be able to see as many people as you could serve. If you wanna know more about Broadway at the beach, I also did a separate video about my walk around over there. Also later in this video, I'm going to be showing you our visit to Senor Frogs. Awesome place as well. If you're a fan of rock music of any decade, and then Hard Rock Cafe would be a great choice. It could be a little loud, but it's very friendly and fun, and you know, visually it's fantastic. And Broadway, the beach is a must. If you're in the Myrtle Beach, you gotta go check out this place. All right, now we're gonna go out for breakfast. There are so many breakfast places here, so hard to choose from, but we chose Blueberry's Grill, and so glad we did. Oh my gosh, it's a little pricey, but it is like the best breakfast I think we've ever had. So amazing. Blueberries Cafe doesn't accept reservations, but if you go to their website, they have a place where you can put yourself in line. They tell you what time you should arrive by. When we came, we probably waited about five minutes, but everybody that was just walking in had like a 40 minute wait. So it's definitely a time saver. I would highly recommend that. I would like to also add that Blueberries has a couple locations. This is the one that's on North Kings Highway. We were here for brunch and they had a wonderful drink selection as well. This right here, this was a mimosa flight. It was a little pricey, but it made beautiful pictures and it was delicious. My husband and I had the Bloody Mary, spicy Bloody Mary. It was awesome. And this, the vegetables on the top were so fresh. It was just really, really nice experience. Came with a piece of candied bacon. It was a meal in itself. It really was great. I had ordered the hash Benedict. It was like homemade hash. It was fantastic. My husband had the bananas foster. I mean, I devoured it. He absolutely loved it. My daughter went a little more simple and got an egg sandwich, but you know, at the end of the day, I mean, look at this food. It was fantastic. And look what happened to the food. <laughs> it 
We ate every ounce of it. It was amazing. We left full and happy. <laughs> now we're gonna take you to the Myrtle Beach Boardwalk. We were looking to stop somewhere for a beer. We were taking a long walk and saw Duffy's that said it had hot beer, lousy food, and bad service. <laughs> I had to go check it out. <laughs> it was cool. It kind of went, reminded me like a throwback place. They had 70s music playing, had a really good menu. We were like, you know, had still leftover pizza from our first night. We're like, okay, we're not going to eat a full meal. So we got the fries, cheese fries, and a beer. And let me tell you, those fries were delicious. I love Wildwood, New Jersey. I haven't been there in a lot of years, but they used to have something called Boardwalk Fries. Reminded me of that. And the best thing about it, the bill. So cheap. Okay, now we're taking you guys to Barefoot Landing on North Myrtle Beach. It's Valentine's Day and it's also happy hour. So we thought it'd be a great time to go check out the Crooked Hammock. Barefoot Landing is similar to Broadway at the beach. It's a restaurant, dining, shopping, extravaganza. <laughs> it's got the lake. It's a little bit smaller. It's in North Myrtle Beach. And the Crooked Hammock is very special because it's also a brewery. I mean, it's the kind of place you could bring your kids and your friends and your family and just hang out for the day. They have all this fun stuff. They have indoor dining, patio dining, and outdoor dining. We are here for happy hour. The prices were extremely reasonable. We were very happy. <laughs> I ordered my dark beer. I love those Guinness type beers. If you want to see more of Barefoot Landing, I made a separate video of that as well. How's it taste, Kelly? He's my more of a beer connoisseur than me. I'm more of a red wine kind of girl. He had ordered the IPA and loved it. We had nachos. My daughter had a hamburger with french fries. My husband got the buffalo chicken nuggets. Everybody enjoyed their meal. It was a great experience. The people were super nice. I would definitely recommend and go back again. If you're enjoying this video and finding it helpful, if you could do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and like the video, it helps the algorithm of my videos getting to other people that may enjoy them as well. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And now for our next meal, another breakfast. And it's also in Barefoot Landing. And it's at a place that I already featured, Blueberry's Grill. We're gonna check out the second location. This is more of a freestanding building. It's not in a shopping center. It's adorable, it has inside and outside seating. I'm kind of bummed now because I didn't have a lot of places to try and I wish I could have featured another place, but this place was so good and we just thought it was adorable and had to try it. <laughs> As you can see, the place is adorable. The menu is so huge and there's so many interesting things. It's the kind of place that you just want to try everything. So we tried the blueberry muffin to start with because why not? You're at blueberries. And we also started with the biscuit with the gravy. Fantastic. And I personally ordered the sweet potato pancakes with pecans. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. So good and so filling. I was only able to eat one of the pancakes. Took the rest back to my villa and had two more breakfasts out of it. It was just so huge. Also, our table was graced with the sausage and egg. It came with hash brown and toast, chocolate chip pancake. And my husband ordered the hash I had the other day. He loved it. It was great. Next, we took a little adventure to Murals Inlet Marsh Walk. It was a little further out of the way, maybe about 20, 30 minutes, but it came heavily recommended by many sources, so we had to try it. Marsh Walk is a fantastic place to go walking around and dining. There's so many places, once again, to choose to dine. We're gonna try the oh Dead God, Dog God, Saloon. The dog. And as you walk in, it's adorned with pictures of dogs everywhere. If you're a dog lover, you gotta check this place out. We arrived from the boardwalk and walked to the front of the restaurant to be seated. We didn't have reservations, but they were able to seat us right away. We sat the three of us in a very large booth, and look, what is on the table? Pictures of dogs. As soon as we were seated, we were greeted with a large basket of hush puppies, which I failed to take a picture of. That was so silly of me. They were so good and so welcome. That was nice. They had a large selection of drinks, tacos, soups, salads, burgers, sandwiches, the menu also consists of a lot of variety of fish items and barbecue as well. We were a little tired and cold this day, so we were thinking like maybe a little wine, but then we're like, well, we're tired. Let's go for margaritas. <laughs> I had ordered the chicken sandwich. If you like a good southern chicken sandwich, this is for you. We had a lot of breading on it, had the waffle fries. My husband ordered like a filet mignon, like it was kind of sliced on it. It was like a garlic toast type thing. He liked it. It was inside and outside dining, as I said before, plenty of patio seating, but it was brisk this day. Nobody was sitting outside. It was probably 50 at the highest this day. 
Okay, now we're going to be taking you back to Myrtle Beach. We're going to be going to Broadway at the beach, and we're going to be, as promised, going to check out Senor Frogs. Once again, there were so many great places to eat, but I wanted to check out Senor Frogs mostly because there's only three locations in the USA. There's this one, Las Vegas, and Orlando. Tequila. I've never been to the Orlando one. That's on International Drive. This is a party place. I did go to the one in Bahamas. They do have these in Bahamas, Puerto Rico, and Mexico. Another reason I chose Senor Fogs for our dining experience is I've never ate here before. And look at this patio. It overlooks the water, the Ferris wheel. I mean, it's awesome. The cocktails come in three sizes, small, medium, and yards. <laughs> There are also shots and beers and wine, and sangria, and you know, you got your, all your Mexican fare. I mean, this has got a great menu, something for everybody. We weren't there for happy hour. The prices were pretty fair. They're pretty competitive with you know, other chain themed restaurants. Here's my yard here. <laughs> this is a hurricane. It, it really wasn't that strong. I had a long afternoon ahead of me. I'm gonna be filming the rest of Broadway at the beach so I figured hey you know <laughs> let me get a little happy before I do it but it really wasn't that strong but it made great pictures the ceiling is adorned with funny sayings you can laugh at while you wait for your food <laughs> you like it yeah it tastes all pineapple I personally ordered the street corn which was cut off the cob and it was in a baking dish with lime and all kinds of cheese, it was delicious. Kelly, my husband, ordered the tacos. It also came with refried beans and a lot of rice. <laughs> I ended up eating some of his rice. My daughter had the queso dip with a huge basket of chips. <laughs> well, that's it. I wish I had more time there. There were so many great places. These are other videos I made during my stay. If you wanna check them out, I'm gonna put a playlist at the end of this video of all the videos I made of Vertle Beach. Next, I'm going to be working on my Hilton Head videos, my week stay at Hilton Head Island. I'm going to be putting that playlist up here as well. Thank you so much for watching. This is your host, Jennifer Sparks. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. I would really appreciate it. Get out there and enjoy your life. Be well to yourself and others, and safe travels to you.